We have traveled down to Kenston, North Carolina, back in some warm weather to Down East Homes, and we're checking out a beautiful manufactured home today uh, from Clayton Homes. It's part of their new series, the uh, Clayton Epic Experience, and this is just a whole bunch of modern farmhouse type homes. This one is the Safari. It is a three bedroom, two bath, 1800 square foot home, and it is beautiful. I love the outside of it. Uh, you have, of course, your board and batten siding on both the front and the back uh, of this front section of home. Then you have your traditional vinyl siding, and all of that is accented with black shutters, black faux beams, and just a really nice look to it. Uh, as far as skirting, <laughs> I'm almost tempted to like, I, I would personally want to slap some black skirting on here. Uh, maybe it looks good, maybe it doesn't. Uh, if you do have a manufactured home with some black skirting on it, and maybe some white siding, let me know about it. Uh, down in the comments, shoot me a picture of it over towards the email so I can check it out and kind of visualize it. I'm sure I could Google it too. But anyway, uh, these homes are sitting on the lot. They're not married together, so all of the uh, vinyl siding that would be right here on the end of the home, it is currently sitting inside of the bedrooms. And once they get that towards your land or put on your land, then they'd finish siding it up. And then coming around to the back of the home, several windows back here. You don't have an, uh, an exit point uh, back here on this side, but once we get to the other end of the home, you do. Uh, but plenty of windows over here. I do want to give a little shout out to one of our fine folks out there in the community. Her name is Mandy. Uh, I accidentally, I had a little accident with my eye this past week. That's why I really haven't uploaded. Uh, ended up having to go to the eye doctor and we walked in, she recognized us and it was just a cool little experience. So there you go. Hi, Mandy. <laughs> anyway, uh, you do have another door right here. This is the one I was talking about. Um, and this leads into your kitchen. And then it's just a, a really neat uh, new home and of course y'all y'all know I love the look of the modern farmhouse now there was another home or there is another home no there was another home uh, that I love the interior on that I wish you could just like mesh these two homes together but this the inside of this home I don't want to take anything away from this home uh, the inside of it is really pretty so let's go ahead and hop on the inside and we will go from there. When you do first walk in, you are greeted with this great big open uh, floor plan with the living room and the kitchen and the dining room. Now, there, of course, there are several doors that uh, you can come in from. This just happens to be the door that we came in from, which uh, I would imagine is the front door. But let's go ahead and get started in the kitchen. You have this great big island right here. You could probably fit four or five stools over on this side. Really nice kind of pattern on the countertop. I like that a lot. Gray, gray cabinets here in the middle. And then there's just, I looked at this just a second ago, there's so much space down here. Of course, you do have your plumbing here in the middle also. But nice double stainless sink. And right behind that, I'll turn you around in a little bit so you can see, is the stove. So I feel like you can cook and then turn around and wash the dishes because you got a dishwasher right here next to the sink. And then another great big cabinet right here. So huge island. And then behind that, you have some more cabinets. These do go all the way up to the ceiling. so no need to dust it's a really light colored wood too i wonder what that's called you do have your refrigerator right here matching countertops and then like i said you do have your stove right there and your sink and dishwasher so cook your dishes turn around rinse your dishes put them in the dishwasher and then your nice stainless range hood I got rubber bands around this, but let's see if we can open some up. I 
don't think they're adjustable, but pretty neat. All right, and then from the kitchen, you walk into the dining room area. So plenty of space for a decent size, pretty big dining room table. And then all of the windows right here on this side of the home really let in a lot of light. There's no electricity in this home, so, I mean, it's pretty bright without it. And then you do have plenty of recessed lights in here also, though, if you needed them. And then from here, you do have your side door. And I'm sure that you could enter from there if you wanted to. Maybe put a little carport or garage. <laughs> Yo, I am struggling. Oh my goodness. I had to go back and get my flashlight to come in here. And then I went and toured the rest of the house and <laughs> forgot to hit record. Oh my goodness. Anyway, all right, so into the utility room, you got your dryer and washer hookups right here. They're split uh, by this nice folding table. It's got some cabinets here also. And then you have a nice shelf up above that also. And then behind this door, you have your furnace and your water heater. And don't worry, I, I found the access panel for the water heater too, so you don't have to climb over the furnace to any to it. And then behind the door, you do have your electric panel. All right. Now, coming back across the kitchen into the living room area, again, two more big windows in here. Just a fun open space. Plenty of room to mount a TV. And then you also have this really fun looking um, accent wall. So I like that a lot. All in all, really pretty living room area, living common area. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments. We'll go ahead and start back here with the smaller bedrooms. Not that they are small by any stretch. Actually, they're really nice size bedrooms. I think so anyway. And then the closets, I mean, they're <laughs> of ample size also. So you have shelf in here. And then just, I mean, plenty of room. You put your dresser or something in here, kind of, you know, free up some space in the bedroom itself. That way you have even more room. So when I get back from this trip, Jen's wanting to, to rearrange our bedroom we had to make some adjustments while she was pregnant. So now that, I guess it's eight months on, but <laughs> we'll go back, she's not pregnant anymore. So we're gonna uh, move the, all the furniture back to the original way it was. But coming into the second closet, again, another big size closet, plenty of room for another dresser, uh, toy boxes, whatever the case may be. And then from there you come into, I like this. This is a, a really nice double vanity, I think. So you got little towel racks on the bottom, uh, two sinks. Again, more recessed lights in here. I think that looks really good. Fitting for like the whole farmhouse theme. And then you have this uh, shower and tub combo. And then opposite that, you have your toilet. All right, so from there, we'll head back across the house. You're kind of away from the kiddos in the evening time, but great big master, plenty of room in here. And then coming into the master closet, again, great big closet. Here's the water heater access panel. That way you don't have to climb and maneuver over the furnace. And then from there, we'll go into the master bathroom. Again, matching vanity, so I like that. I think this vanity looks really sharp. And then behind us, 
Again, you have a shower and tub combo, but in this one, you have a nice big tub area. So a big old round soaking tub. I think that is neat. And then you have your toilet. And then towards the back of the bathroom, you do have a secondary uh, master closet. All right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments. If you want more information on this model or Downey's Homes, I'll leave that information for you down in the description. As always, thanks for hanging out. My name's Timothy, and I'll see your beautiful face in the next one.